Scentland, the land of scent. Ha! That's called stepping into the picture. Hi, it's Chris back with yet another fragrance review. And this time we're looking at the house of Gianmarco Venturi. Obviously, much like Guy Mattiolo, for me, Venturi, uh, Gianmarco Venturi was, was or still is maybe somebody I don't know much about in regards to the, to the brand itself. I know that he's born in 55 and stepped into... Uh, into the fashion business in the in the mid 70s somewhere but i was never really aware of much you know activity there or, or any fragrance releases uh from the house of venturi obviously i i, I knew always uh, gianni versace and franco ferrer roberto cavalli nicola trustarri all those great names of italian fashion but Gianmarco venturi is a consistent and persistent name household brand of italian fashion and they have released a a um, series of fragrances back in 2017 called frames and within that it was a um it was three fragrances and within one of these fragrances uh within this particular line i'm talking about the frames line right Gianmarco venturi frames and one fragrance within that line uh is, is it's a basically a trilogy of fragrances, right? And one of them is called Essence. Now, I didn't know about this and I wouldn't have purchased this just because I don't know about it. Uh, but my friend Jord, whom we do uh, some regular sniffing here, surprised me with this fragrance recently. And uh, wow, I got caught by surprise, I can tell you that. Um, so that's the box, Gianmarco Venturi Frames Essence, okay? Now, bulky, big. Uh, box and here's the bottle <whistles> nice colors right um, but you do recognize those colors don't you and somehow you do recognize the shape of the bottle so so this combination kind of although I like the coloring it threw me off at first because I thought well the colors remind strongly remind me of Fahrenheit absolute and uh, and the bottle design by uh, by Dior or reminds me of Dior Om, the Dior Om line, right? So I was, and I don't really like when when um, fashion brands start to copy each other, you know, and and start to when one fashion brand or designer brand starts to copy the successful line of another one. I, I don't particularly like that. So I was at the beginning, I was kind of afraid that this is the case here, and it's well, let me deep deep dive in there. So that's. Gianmarco, Gianmarco Venturi frames essence, okay? I'm gonna put the box down. So in regards to this fragrance, now, obviously I was mentioning uh, Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit Absolute. Um, as you spray this on, that's a fairly good sprayer, good distribution. You get hit by a great blast that indeed reminds you of Christian Dior's 1988 uh, super classy, uh, ever succeeding um, masterpiece, piece of art, Fahrenheit, okay? Um, why? Somehow the blend um, is very um, much reminding me of, of, of how Fahrenheit is smelling or smelled at the time. Um, Although already at the beginning it starts to kind of drift away, um, luckily. Um, although I like Fahrenheit a lot, I always thought uh, I will try it and I tried it and I, I wanted to like it, I wanted to wear it and I really do like Fahrenheit, but I can't wear it for some reason. I don't know, it somehow doesn't fit me, okay? Um, so, um, I, when I apply this, it starts with this Fahrenheit vibe. And then something very interesting comes because, um, wow, uh, I did a review of this a few days ago and I wanted to publish it and I had to change my mind and I didn't do it because this fantastic fragrance caught me by surprise. Because first I was using it inside, you know, room temperature. Yeah, started off Fahrenheit-ish, nice, warm, you know, the, the, um, the notes here are uh, Elemi, um, a great patchouli note and, and a nice uh, woody note, maybe rosewood actually, fantastic. And it maintains 
this vibe of Fahrenheit, but it goes into its own herbal, patchouli, dirty, so, uh, soil-like herbal direction, okay? So it was almost like you're digging your hands into a, 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 an, an autumn forest soil uh, with some leaves around and that, that type of um, a vibe w was what I was getting from this, okay? Uh, um, it's fantastic. Uh, so I wanted to review this. It, smell, it smells very natural in this way, right? It smells somehow so inviting, so warm, so welcoming. Um, it, it, it gives you the feeling like you are meeting a good, old, reliable friend. Very solid, very refined, very intelligent, even a bit nostalgic, very warm, um, and, and nice, natural smelling, very comforting, very calming as well. It has a great calming effect to it. So again, this is all in room temperature, okay? So all those keywords I use there, you know, solid, natural, calming, herbal, soil-like, uh, reliable, um, natural, uh, whatnot, all the, th these words. Uh, and, and still very vivid, very bright, very much uplifting, uh, fantastic. And then I decided to go one evening to the park with my son, He's two years old. And so we went, uh, he was on going on his little toy uh, motorbike. And I was, you know, coming and going, following, trying to be a good father, right? Um, and uh, I kept sniffing. So I was, I was caught by this huge blast of what reminded me of kerosene, jet fuel. Okay, so I thought the first thought that came to my mind was, oh my goodness, a plane somewhere above us just dumped some fuel because it smelled uh, very vividly of kerosene jet fuel. Okay, it really did. I was, I was standing there for two minutes and I was saying, that, wow. And I was talking out loud to myself, wow, I can't believe this. And, and I started to realize, obviously, uh, in the process that it's not a, a plane dumping some some excess uh, uh, jet fuel above us somewhere, but it's this fragrance. So all what I said before uh, in in the review that I made before turned around, and because this was not smelling natural, this was not smelling uh, calming, or it, it, it was a totally different direction. And I know the Fahrenheit, uh, which this fragrance is partially referring to, maybe. Um, has this petrol note okay but here it's not a petrol note it, 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 it's not gasoline okay it's it's kerosene it's jet fuel especially if you're outside if you're outside in the cold it's january so it was cold and this was you know when you're on on an airport or at an airport and you sometimes you have to walk on the tarmac to reach the plane right and you can smell uh, the, 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 the plane or the, in the vicinity of the plane, how they just freshly fueled it with jet fuel, kerosene. And that's the smell. It very, very vividly and almost aggressively, but very macho, very uh, ready to go. It's, I think the smell of, I love the smell of kerosene. Okay, first of all, I have to make that statement clear. Um, it, is, it is so... Um, remarkable but absolutely synthetic okay so it threw everything i thought about this fragrance before it threw it straight into the bin using it outside because suddenly it wasn't natural smelling it was kerosene jet fuel smelling absolutely synthetic there's nothing more synthetic smelling than maybe paint okay than kerosene jet fuel like wow but it was exactly what i was getting and i was mesmerized i was stunned i was overwhelmed and i was totally in love getting in love with this one because it seemed rugged, harsh, um, punchy, um, very macho, very manly, um, much more than, and I'm going to mention Fahrenheit's name the last time, so much more than that. Um, less refined maybe, but more wearable, um, because it's, it's, it has then this green aspect, and when it dries down, it maintains this vibe inside or out, and it goes into this patchouli woody dry down. 
not just some boring sandalwood or vetiver or whatever you know most I, I don't like that when the fragrance nice after a nice top and mid nose just dries down to plain sandalwood and vetiver not this one this one maintains this patchouli woody aspect with if you're outside with the kerosene note persistently pumping it's like pump 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 um fantastic great longevity uh fantastic less you throughout the day especially if you apply some beneath your shirt and, and on clothes as well fantastic i'm stunned and i the good news this i can wear and for some reason it puts me into this very energetic mode because i've been since since I was six years old, I was traveling with planes, you know, um, and I regularly do. And I really love the, f the feeling of traveling, of flying. Um, putting this fragrance on, I feel like that. I feel like I'm on tarmac. I'm going to hit a new destination. I'm going to hit a destination that I love. I even feel like a, a, an airline captain, right? A pilot uh, with this. It's just fantastic. It's really stunning, stunning, stunning kerosene jet fuel smell. If I used it in the if I used it in the inside, um, it 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 dried down to this fantastically nice herbal patchouli woodiness. That and the and the woods at the end somehow get amped up. The woods start to sharpen up uh, toward the very end of the dry down, and it's extremely woody then with the patchouli you know giving away. Fantastic blend, um, really. Um, wow, so I keep on wearing this, um, I'm totally in love with this, um, so Gianmarco, Gianmarco Venturi's uh, Frames Essence, an absolute stunner, an absolute surprise, and very, very versatile, smelling almost every time a bit different, maybe sometimes at the beginning this typical kerosene jet fuel theme is going on stronger, but then Again, as I said, depending, depending if you're inside or out, um, the patchouli takes it into the herbal, soily, um, uh, woody type of direction together with the, the, the obviously with the wood. Um, and, but it, 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 it never ceases to, to, uh, to amaze you and to, to, to swirl around your nose and giving you some new nuances. Sometimes I think there's some citrus in there. But it's not. I don't think so. Uh, it's elemi, patchouli, and wood, perfectly blended. I don't know the perfume perfumeur behind this. Maybe you can help me on that. But anyone who loves the smell of kerosene, jet fuel at an airport should try this. Uh, perfect. It's just a bit better than the fragrance from Dior I've mentioned because it has some fantastic green, woody, herbal aspect to it and it's it's very um uplifting and very calming somehow it, it, it puts you in a great um self-confident mood this fragrance you really feel like you're in the right place at the right time that's what uh, Gianmarco Venturi's essence uh, gives me so I'm absolutely blown away and I'm gonna exit the scene now and um big recommendations for this juice absolutely so thanks very much again. It was a pleasure and uh, I'll be back with more. Take care and see you soon for yet another review. And now exit. That's the exit.